Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kimmy Trent. Today is Thursday and Thursdays I like to do art therapy. Well, I call it art therapy. It's just painting with you, talking about things and relaxing, getting your mind off the stresses of the week. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go over supplies. I have a piece of um, Arches 100% cotton paper. It was a 10 by 14 sheet I cut in half. I have my various brushes here. My water, my paper towel, and my paints. Um, I would like you to paint with any color you feel works for you today, like what you're feeling today. Are you feeling blue? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling sad or anxious? Um, you know, generally your feelings gravitate towards a certain color. So I don't want to influence you on the color that you want to choose, if you want to use greens. This just simple painting um, project today is just just a paint, but like I said, using colors that make you feel the way you feel are the best things to choose. Yellows, reds. I am feeling a little bit upbeat today, so I'm going to use many colors. So let's get started with, oh, and I'm using a Grumbacker number 10 brush as well. I'm starting with that. So these don't need to be drawn out because it's just like intuitive painting of simple blobs and shapes for butterflies, such as I'll show you here. I'll take some of this color I mixed up. It's a mixture of wild rose and some medium yellow, getting it wet. And I'm just gonna make a line and a line. And make a little blob to indicate how I want. Again, I grab this medium yellow. Oops, a little too bright for me. How I think I would want my butterfly to look. So it doesn't have to have a seriousness to it. It's just lines and shapes. You could do blobby shapes like this. indicate your butterfly. You can take simple, I'll take some turquoise here, shapes like this to indicate your butterfly. And then of course you would have the butterfly in the middle. I'll be filling in the middle of these butterflies as I as they dry. Just grabbing a red or a rose. It can be pale or dark. Sticking that in the middle. Just gonna have fun with it. Creating all kinds of patterns, and be dots, stripes. You can bleed into your other blobs, but on wet techniques that I've shown you. When you have a fun little butterfly, again, bleed into the technique. I'm just gonna paint with colors that you feel work for you today. I'm doing various peaches and pinks, some blues. My butterflies are different shapes. So you just go back and forth like this with your brush and you get a fun little butterfly and you can go in and bleed in some color on the inside on the outside. You just have fun with it. Just bleeding the edges. And creating this fun, different type of butterfly. And just bleeding the darker color right on the tip edges and then the inside. 
and it creates a fun pattern. So I'm going to say you can see. We'll create another one of those. We'll do it with a different color. We'll do it with the turquoise. So we're just going to wish back and forth like this. Again, back and forth. And then smaller ones. Now watercolor naturally creates a hard line on the edge. If you want to soften it, there are techniques to do that. But watercolor paint is hard line. So I'll go in and grab my concentrated turquoise and I hit the inside edge and the outside edge. And watch it bleed. And it creates a fun pattern just by bleeding the color. Like so. Very simple. You can create any kind of color and butterfly you want. Putting in some golden yellow ones. And I'll bleed in a little red. Some I'll bleed in, some I won't. If I don't like that, I can just move it around. Wait for that to dry and create another one. And create some more of those type of butterflies with a different blue color, an ultramarine. And just go up here. We're just having fun making a pattern of all a bunch of butterflies flying around. It doesn't have to be serious. We'll create another silly butterfly like this. for this one. Creating a different butterfly shape. And we'll go back and over these butterflies and add highlights, different tones to create. See, it's still wet, so it's bleeding. But even just adding that bright red changed that flower, I mean butterfly. I'm going to go in and add some patterns. Playing around with it. Again, grab some of my turquoise. Creating another different type of butterfly up here. Should have fun. Shouldn't have to be so serious. It's your butterflies. Red, blue, purple, brown, whatever color seems to work for you. Make a brown one. Like the color with the red and the brown and the pink and the brown. So now you're creating a nice little pattern. And then you can create a pattern within the pattern because you have the butterflies. Okay, I'll grab this in this yellow, take a golden one over here. Just have fun. When you're having fun, you're not thinking about the day's stresses, how many bills you have to pay, 
all the work you have to do as you as these dry these fun little turquoise ones you can have some fun patterns inside of them this one's still a little wet Need some more color in there. This one up top, still wet. We can add some color to this one. Again, we're going to just have fun with this. It's not supposed to be serious. Let's just enjoy the process of painting. Just by doing little dash lines like this, you're creating a fun pattern. It almost looks tie-dye-ish. Create a circle right there in the middle. Add this fun, pretty butterfly. Again, if you're not thinking about all the things that are bothering you at the moment. You're just thinking about what color you're going to put down next. What shape you want next. What color butterfly you want next. Just go around. Keep playing with the different colors. See, so in the middle and that bleeds. Can add another fun butterfly these type of butterflies, like a triangle. We haven't done a side view butterfly yet. Take a side view. Butterfly. My color's a little too bright, so I will wipe that away. And I don't like the shape. And zigzag it. And there. I have a side view one. I'm going to put one down here, turquoise. I like how I zigzag that one. Just zigzag and zigzag. And I'll do another one here. Zigzag and zigzag. And grab my brown, brown amber paint. And there's my side butterfly. Grab my pink paint here. Bush pink. And there's my upper side view butterfly. And it's drying. Add one in here. Once I'm used to drying, you can go in and add the various patterns, just shooting out lines, just dots on the ends. Very simple, but yet fun. Just simple lines. Some bolder lines. with it. Don't worry if it's, if you think it's not coming out right. There's no right or wrong when it comes to painting. These type of things. Just keep painting. Enjoy the process. The mistakes are sometimes even better. That was a mistake, but I kind of like that one. Again, keep going around, playing around with your butterfly. Different line strokes. Could be a 
a bigger one. We can fill in this area and not leave it white. So I'm gonna grab some of my green and add to my turquoise. And you wanna mix a fair amount of paint for this particular exercise of filling it in. So I have my green, my medium green. I'm grabbing a lot of turquoise paint. So it's a greenish turquoise. And I'm going to just really water down. Because I want to feel like color. And I always dab it on my paper towel first. And then we're just going to lightly paint around. Leave a white area around the butterfly. I'm going to fill this all in. The trick, if you want to make sure that you have the same color throughout this whole piece, is to mix a lot of the color. Otherwise, when you go back in to create the color again, there will be a variation in tone, which is inevitable. But also nice. So if you want to spread it around first, and you want to really work fast on this, so a larger brush, and don't worry about getting so how much white you have around each element, each butterfly. That that is not the concern. It's just filling in color, and like I said, it could be green. Could be blue. All the butterflies could be one tone, I mean not one tone, one monocolor, like it could be all blue. It could be all pink. Whatever you're feeling like painting today. Maybe you don't want to even paint a ground. Maybe you just want to keep it white. You can leave it that way too. Doesn't really matter. Today I feel like filling it in. And you can see I've created this really pretty pattern. And I've mixed enough paint that you know how you get a hard you don't want to get a hard line when you some of your paint is trying, like you see here, you just keep mixing over it. And I fill it all in. Areas. Around the butterflies. really fun pattern. For yourself. And if you want to go back in and add some more butterflies up here. I'm going to add a few more.
and then go back and grab my green color. And I'll fill that in. And this part is dried. So you see it overlap because watercolors are hard edge. You're gonna have to mush it around. It's gonna have that hard edge. See, it's already dried. That's why you need to work really quickly. In order not to have a hard edge. See, it's overlapped now. So now you have this transparency of the other color on top of that. You can go in and mush it around. Try and get rid of that line. But it wants to create it, so you kind of have to work with it. See how I've eliminated it by pushing around, getting the water on it, lifting up the water a bit. Yeah, it's gone. Because it naturally wants to create the hard line. Now that you have that there, you want to finish up all your butterflies. Going in and adding some patterns with the darker tones. Just simple lines like I showed you before. Some circles. Some lines. Just having fun. Just a simple, fun butterfly exercise. With the ground color, you can leave it simple and clean like that. You can add some patterns to it. You could add some dots, stripes, whatever you feel like. But that's just a simple exercise. You could take a pen and go in and make lines around the butterflies if you didn't want to paint them. If you wanted to create patterns that way. I'm just doing simple dots and lines. And some highlights. Therapy Thursday. I think using anything with art is therapy. It relaxes you. Colors make you feel good or sad or angry, but they help whatever you're feeling at the moment. And I think painting naturally relaxes you. Just going back in over some of these. Adding in some highlights. Take some of the yellow, 
which is that bright yellow. Going in and adding some yellow on some of these. Just to brighten it up a bit. This one looks very tie-dye-ish, which is kind of cool. Just adding patterns where you see fit. Whatever you think is working for you. Just keep playing with it. Until you feel that like you've created what you want. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please come back every Thursday for my Art Therapy Thursday. Basically, it's me and you creating art that makes us feel good. And, um, yes. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.